Hello, this uh, tutorial is involves the Cadential 6.4 leading to a PAC. Now, the Cadential 6.4 can be approached a couple of ways. Um, it can be approached simply as a from a one, in which you hold over the dissonant four and the six. The four, the, the four is particularly dissonant. That's the do and the mi over the sol you prepare those as suspensions. Um, but more common is to approach the cadential 6-4 with the dominant prep chord. The 4 is the easiest one and, uh, and probably the most common and it's the one I want to uh, look at first. Now, you have this entire cadential progression here. You go from a dominant prep to the cadential 6-4 which involves a voice leading of two tones and then to the tonic. So you have four tones in each voice and especially the first three uh, really have to follow a basic pattern so there's really not much leeway here so let's start with the one we're going to a four so let's do our bass and we have two souls to accommodate the resolution of the cadential six four so here's Roman numerals five we have the 6 4 resolving to 5 3 12 1. Okay, now I'm going to first start with Do and the soprano. Now, for the 4 chord, uh, the 1 to 4 motion is very simple. It's upper neighbor motion in the, um, and hold the common tone. So, Do is held as a common tone. So once I have Do, I can look here in the 4 and see where it, how it approaches the cadential 6-4. So it's Do, Do, T. That's absolutely imperative. You must prepare the Do because it's dissonant. It's just exactly like a suspension in 4th species counterpoint. A 5th here, 4th um, on the downbeat resolving to a 3. The alto voice goes me, upper neighbor to fa. So I, again, now I look up to the upper voices here. Fa approaches the cadential 6 4 by step to me. So it's an accented passing tone. Now the sixth is not as sensitive as the fourth because it's not truly dissonant against the bass. But um, you approach that as an accented passing tone and it generally go fa, mi, re. Now it can move on to do if it's in the soprano. If it's in the alto voice, then it's not obliged to move to do. It can go to mi. The do, t, by the way, in the soprano should go to do. Our tenor voice, upper neighbor to la. Again, la, sol. Now we go to la, sol. We can hold sol. In fact, we can hold sol all the way through. Sol, sol, sol. Like that. Um, another option, well, let's just listen to this. Another very common option is to have mi, re, do, and say the alto voice, say that was the soprano, you definitely would want to go mi, re, do. In which case, you can introduce the passing seventh in the tenor voice. So let's listen to that, especially if it's just a conditional 6-4. You can hear strong mi, re, do in the alto voice. Now, um, if I substitute a 2-6 for the 4, then I create a different issue. And a, a little wrinkle. Um, often when I, most often when you go to, from a 1 to a 2-6, um, one good rule of thumb is to move down in the upper voices. So if I do that, when I go do to la in the soprano, that avoids the para, any potential for parallel fifths. Um, me to re in the alto voice, and sol to fa, and I double the bass for the 2-6. Um, I've had no parallels at all from that 1 to 2, 6. You don't have to worry about it a bit. But if I follow my template up here for the approaching the cadential 6, 4, 
then what I'll end up doing is going la dao to sol and re to do. And there I have parallel fifths. You can see them very easily in the soprano and alto. You do not want to have la in the soprano um, in an upper voice. And in fact, you don't want to have it above the re in, in soprano or alto um, if the re is in the tenor. Uh, so I can easily avoid that here by moving up a step in the alto and all the upper voices. Now, you might worry that that might produce parallel fifths. What it produces is, excuse me, is parallel fourths, or in this case, parallel elevenths. Um, do to re and sol to la. That is entirely acceptable. So then, of course, our voice setting is exactly the same as it was before. So you have um, mi, re, oh, excuse me, you have re to do in the soprano instead of do to do. So let's listen to that. Okay.